Republican lawmakers in the state of Colorado have proposed legislation that would punish districts and organizations that encourage teachers to go on strike. And the punishment could include jail time. Let me give you the details. The bill prohibits districts from supporting teachers' strikes and requires schools to dock a teacher's pay for each day they participate in a walkout. The teachers could also face up to six months in jail and a 500 daily fine if they violate a court order to stop striking. State Senator Bob Gardner and Representative Paul Lundin uh, both proposed this legislation and it's absolutely despicable and unconstitutional because you are essentially banning teachers from co coming together, protesting and practicing their First Amendment rights. The law would allow school districts to seek a court injunction against teachers and teacher organizations that are threatening to strike. If the organization violates the court order, it faces a fine of up to $10,000 a day and a ban on representing teachers in the state for up to a year. Now, uh, teachers in the state of Colorado are not happy about their pay. Um, they are at the bottom of the list when it comes to uh, states and how they compensate teachers. They're poised to participate in a lobbying effort in Denver on Tuesday and Thursday of this week, prompting at least a dozen school districts in the state to cancel school. Also, the days of action at the Capitol is not a strike or even a mass teacher walkout. She said most of the teachers participating in the event will be using the two personal leave days they earn annually. First of all, let's stop for a second. The teachers are gonna use one of their two personal leave days that they get each year. They get two personal leave days each year, two, they get two. Okay, they barely get paid anything and then they get to. Colorado is number 46 out of uh, 50 states when it comes to teacher compensation. That's why they're upset and they don't wanna do you know, this mass walkout and miss out on, on their pay. So they're gonna use the one of two days that they get for personal leave. So uh, these Republicans who wanna put these teachers in prison uh, say, yeah, we're number 46, deal with it. And, and if you don't uh, bow your head, uh, I'm gonna put you uh, away. And I'm gonna fine you and I'm gonna destroy the organization that uh, represents you. Now, they're uh, hilarious excuses. No, 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 they still have their First Amendment rights. Uh, but if I can get a court uh, that I control to put an injunction on them, and then they continue to speak out. I mean, what do they think, uh, they have money? No, money is speech, speech is not actually speech. Then we'll put them in prison. Um, and so it's preposterous and as absolute right, it's unconstitutional. By the way, they also can be fired without a hearing. They're like, we don't wanna he hear you out. The minute you uh, you know, cross our uh, interests, you're done. You're destroyed, you're fired, you're put in prison and you're fined. How dare you complain that you have the 46th lowest pay in the country? Colorado is too busy giving tax cuts to the rich to be worried about you. And, and now, the teachers point out, first of all, no more corporate tax cuts. If you're not gonna do what the law dictates, and now this is really important and interesting. And so an argument could be made that we should put the Republican legislators in jail. Because in the year 2000, the citizens of Colorado voted for Amendment 23. And that requires the state to increase funding for education at the annual rate of inflation. But the legislators were like, yeah, I don't think so. Uh, I'm. You didn't give me money, I didn't get bribed. So no, I don't care that it's Ill, I'm breaking the law. What am I, a legislator whose job is to create laws? No, no, I'm not gonna follow the law. So they have not adjusted for inflation for nine years. So that cost, that actually cost the education system in Colorado. And if you live in Colorado, that costs your kids a quality education to the tune of 6.6 billion dollars. Yeah. So when are you gonna give the 6.6 .6 billion back? Well, we're not going to because we're still passing tax cuts. All right, and, and if you complain that I'm giving everything to the rich and nothing to your kids, so they never have an opportunity to learn, to get an education and to become rich themselves, they never have a shot at the American dream, don't care, I'll put you in prison. 
Thank you, Republicans, for clarifying what your position is. Exactly, vote them out. And let's let's start off with the two state lawmakers who proposed this legislation in the first place. By the way, Carrie Dahlman is the woman who represents some of these teachers. She is part of the Colorado Education Association and she is fighting this pretty aggressively. And I'm glad that she's doing so. But Senator Bob Gardner, State Senator Bob Gardner has responded to the criticism because I'm guessing there's been quite a bit. And here's what he has to say, it is not in any way an attempt to silence teachers voices. They have the right to assemble, protest, associate, demonstrate, whatever they wish. And I would defend their right to do that. Except I just proposed legislation that would punish teachers organizations and teachers for ever having the audacity to stand up to us because we didn't fulfill our promises and they're barely getting paid for their jobs. It's disgusting and I hope he gets voted out of office. Okay, one last thing, um, it, just so we're clear, it's not just teachers who would go on strike. Um, this bill has a language that says educators caught directly or indirectly inducing a, a protest or encouraging a protest would be imprisoned. So that's basically a thought crime. It's funny because I thought conservatives were in favor of freedom of thought. I mean, that's what Kanye West tells me, that's what Donald Trump tells me, that's what all the guys online tell me who are conservatives. But now Republicans want to imprison you for your thoughts. Kanye, on the other hand, can have any goddamn thought he likes. We don't care if we get to counter his speech, we're not trying to take his speech away. But in this case, they're literally trying to take speech away and imprison you if you have the wrong thoughts. Again, Republicans, thank you for clarifying what your real positions are. If you become a member of the Young Turks, you'll be saying, You know, I'm like a smart person. So do it right now, tytnetwork.com slash join. Get the whole Young Turks show every day.